Hello and welcome to another video. I'm out with I introduce him now as Joey D, but we might not do this bit and, and crowbar him in, in a humorous way later on. And if we've done that, you're not even seeing this bit, so it doesn't matter. If we haven't done that, welcome to another video. What is it? I think it's a classic uh, Shelley Signs Limited um, Woodland Birds uh, point of interest. Yeah, I think you might be right, you know. Yeah, no, you haven't read that, got... have you? Because that sounds like you've... No, mate, it's got all their hallmarks. Show us what it does. So, uh, clearly, it's got, you know, it says woodland birds, which you think, oh, yeah, but there is nice woodland birds around here, but... What would they look like if we had a... I wouldn't know what they are and what they look like. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh. It's like basically just a Swiss army knife of woodland birds, though. Little fold out there. We've got... Some of your highlights. The... Some of your big hitters. Oh, yeah. He's bringing you some a nut hatch. A red star and a pied fly catcher. Is there any more? Fly catcher. No, that's same. They're repeated on the other and side. And then they repeat a fossil thwaite on the other side, just in case you, whichever oh, side. Direction. Yeah. Quality contact that mate, and a great introduction back into the vlogs. Come on. What are you packing? Oh my god. I got myself a uh, kestrel, you know, the old meadow pipit. And the, and the classic. The famous grouse. The G grouse. Another quality bit of content there. Thanks for bringing us that. They're quite cool, aren't they? Yeah, good idea. We've got some heather, ling heather, heath bed straw, and some bilberry, which is that. Quality, quality stuff. Oh, free solo! Can't hear out because it's too windy to be filming. Get behind here, look. Look at these, sculpted by nature. Looks a little bit like a um, horseshoe fungus. So you're not doing much filming because of the, the wind is severe. Look, I'll take you around here. See. Wait, that's gone! <laughs> there you go, look. There you go. The only way to do it is back, backwards up. There, look. Yeah. What is it? A little wind tunnel? <laughs> Good evening, look at that. Time of his life, look. Time of his life, look, yeah. Top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Thank, the tough one. The tough one. Thanks for everyone who sponsored us. Really, really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> there we are, look. And here we are on the trig point. There we go, look. Sound job. Is he getting all wind though? Is it a wind trap? No, it's not too bad. Look at Joe's in there. Look at that. Show us your view. Inside, inside the digs. Like what are you looking out at? Look at that. Look at that. It's not, it's not bad. Yeah, you'd keep, you'd be dry, wouldn't you? Definitely, unless it was dr super dry, low driving rain. Here he is, shel the shelf reviewer. <laughs> How's this shelf? <laughs> it's not as like cozy. It's not as, it's not as instantly. Cozy, but you've got a bit of you've got a bit of light. What you've, you've got, got a lot of space there. You can put all yeah. Put your tea lights. You've got greenery in there. Fire down there, sort of fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. Smoke is allowed. Careful. Careful. Your eye up on the floor there, like. Look at this. He's going. He's going into the bottom bunk. Look at that. I tell you what. Wow, dude. We could do an intro. Like we should. This should be the intro. I could just come in here and just like not, I could just say I'm on a solo one and you're just in there like that. Just tucked in there, right at back. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, oh, someone's left a shoe. <laughs> just, yeah, if I just did that, you wouldn't even know it. You, wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know it was anyone. You just come in here, yeah, you can't even see you. I'll just come in, I'll just pretend I've come, I'll cosplay it. Just come down here. <laughs> like, oh, this is a nice little area. Oh, what's that bit of blue litter down there? And all of a sudden, excuse me. <laughs> trying to get me. <laughs> trying to get me down. A bit of me time. 
He's having a bit of me time away from kids. I can't. He's so broken that he's got to go in there. Uh, <laughs> Good luck with hot ticks and that though. Get out of there, you crazy bitch. Medic! Oh, it's power. Yeah, nice bit of paracord on there. Nice bit of wire to, you see, you can just pull that up. Your dog or your better half or whatever gets through there. Down it goes so that sheep can't get through. It's pretty good. And you've got your mixture of, you've got your new stuff here. Very solid, very solid. And your old stuff, still very solid, surprisingly. And you've got your bail band. Good old, he's gone for pink bail band here because why not? Let people know you care. We'll soon see, we're just flying by the seat of our pants at the moment, that's what we like, so we'll crack on and head over this way and over yonder. I don't know if audio will be working on here, if you can hear me or not, but we're uh, maybe eight miles into a walk. We're lost, but we're not lost, if you know what I mean. We know sort of roughly where we are, where we're going, but we are lost as in there is no path and we're just making it up as we go and that's what we wanted. Sometimes it's okay not to have a clue what you're doing and uh, just find beauty in, in the adventure of it all. You know, it might work out, it might not. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're not taking peace. It's not like we're in the uh, middle of Norway in winter with no map or idea what we're doing. We're pretty, you know, Roughly know where we are, but at the same time, we've got no idea, so that's the beauty of it, isn't it, Joseph? It certainly is. And we wouldn't find little valleys like this if we didn't go off piste or try and get lost. Yeah, lads. We're just cutting a path through as far as we know. We're roughly in the right direction, but we're still definitely not on the right path. It's walking on this undulating terrain, it does play, it makes it soles your feet rather hot, doesn't it? So, our goal now is to find some water, offload our bags and just dunk our feet in some, some nice water, maybe even go for a swim if we can if we can find somewhere. Being lost is ace. It's quite steep and the ground is just ankle biting. So our plan is anyway to get to the bottom of this valley and uh, hopefully follow the water down and then it looks like there's some sort of track here that we can tap into and, and make our way up the other side. That's the plan. We just gotta go for all these bilberries. The colours are amazing. Look at the colours of this. The different shades and textures of green. It's quite sublime. We've come down here and there's this. <laughs> We've really come lucky here, man, from getting lost. This is what you get off the beaten track, and look where we are. Nice. You've got options there, that'll keep it held. So you can lift these up if you want. You can lift these up and pull it out. Works either way. Or you can pull this. See how she just listen. Beautiful latch and locks. Follow for more. We are done in. We found this flat bit of grass. 
and we're just going to pitch up here for the night. We're not having a fire, we're not doing anything wild. Um, so I think we'll be good here. It's late in the day, so we'll pitch up, make no fuss, and then we'll be off first thing. Stove is the Soto Windmaster with the inbuilt ignition. Food is real termite, chili con carne, and Joe's on the uh, beef and potato. Oh, ready for it. Yeah. Tech. Hello. Right then, techers, check, check, techers, check. one, two, three. I'm here with none other than Joseph Von D. Hello, Joe. Hello. Can you do a shout out for my dog, Buddy? He lost his fight with bladder cancer today. He was my shadow. I'm in bits. Well, I can't shout him out because he's gone. But what I, what I will do is shout you out, mate. And I hope you... Um, what happens with things like that is when, when things pass away or people pass away or whatever, is it does it hurt, but then in time, I know you can't think of it now, but in time that pain gives way to a feeling of like pride and you just feel sort of, the memories are then become happy memories. And definitely get a buddy tattoo. Yeah, if you're into them sort of things. As part of your healing process. Yeah. His face. Yeah, no, it's nuts. <laughs> Get his nuts tattooed on your neck. Yeah. Dude, he's in bits, and I also, just sending you nothing but love, mate. Shout out, buddy. Uh, much love to the Hayes community and to you and Joey D. You are so appreciated. Your exploits and openness about men's mental health have got me through some awful shit. Thank you, thank you. Much love to you, mate. You big up yourself. Kia Swafield. Sweet. Swayfield. Uh, firstly, just thank you. I'm you're welcome. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating when I'm when saying your videos have literally got me through the last couple of years. My question is, what what five animals would you and Joey have in your animal armies and why? Plus, do either of you have any other mates? Spooky stories and that you haven't talked about. Spooky stories. Well. I don't really get scared, so... I don't what, do five animals stories. in an army? Can we have the same army so we, we can just discuss five animals that we put in it? Yeah, I think that makes sense. No we're going to pick the same sort of animals anyway, aren't we? Uh, if you I don't mean, pick, be a bit of a well, curveball. If let's just say this. There's one animal that's getting in regardless, yeah. and that's a rhinoceros. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, I mean, straight away, I would have gone bear. I think it's slightly unusual to go, there's one animal definitely getting in rhinoceros. Dude, a rhinoceros would annihilate a bear. I, d I disagree, yeah. mate. I've seen a... Dude, I saw a rhinoceros versus a... Bu uh, a <laughs> like a massive bull, like a bison, whatever. Yeah. It was just making it do yeah, backflips, no, like spinning mate. it 360. Bear. Well, a polar bear's better than a bear. Oh, well, a polar bear then, yeah. I don't know if a polar bear could have a, a, a rhino, you know. I'm not... Well... It could uh, okay. The, well, they can both get one in. There's dimensional. Two. Well, there's two. Two. All right. Well, no, because a rhino is an armor plate. It's a charger. It's just a charging yeah, with a huge machine. Horn. All right. In an army, that would be you need you that just guy. Take out the infantry. Just into them. Um, just all right. Okay. Yeah. Rhino. And, and I mean, who are we fighting? And we are bear. This is. We're not against guns and tanks and stuff. We're just. We're coming into a village, <laughs> an ill-prepared, right. farming town. <laughs> To just absolutely lay waste <laughs> to it with our animal army. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah. <laughs> you're well, your mankini with your well rounders back. Another one, definite entry has got to be an elephant. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Actually, we'll replace the rhino with the elephant. Yeah, because yeah, I've seen elephants like pick up things like rhinos. Yeah, and fucking just chuck them over, yeah. Yeah. I once saw an elephant pick up a rhino and put it up its own ass. <laughs> Pick its teeth with its horn. <laughs> just pick its ass. It just put its <laughs> whole head it's inside its ass and suffocated it. <laughs> and I think it was laughing. <laughs> so that's insane, isn't it? So a bull elephant, yeah, there's not much beating that, is there? So, no. Okay, a bull elephant, a yeah. polar bear, a womble. 
a wombat. I love this beetle, actually. He looks quite, I love that sheep. He looked quite up for it. Yeah. No. Um, there's got yeah, there's got to be a big cat, and if it's one of the big cats, it's sure got to be a lion, a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Lions are bigger. Tigers are bigger. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Tigers are bigger than lions, mate. They're not. A Bengal tiger is bigger than a lion. I promise. And they fight with two hands. Let's have a tiger then. They look cooler. Yeah, they look cooler. No doubt. Obviously, because when we, we we come strolling over that hill with our bear. Our polar got, bear's going to struggle, though, isn't it? With, heat. with the heat. I think we just go for a grizzly. They're they're pretty much Cur- as. Okay, we're going with a Kodiak bear. Kodiak grizzly bear. Yeah. They're as close as... And they're going to They're going to take it a bit more. The polar bear's going to start wimping out when it's too hot. It would look like that one in Flamingo Land. <laughs> All yellow, like nicotine stained and pressed. Oh, God. Terrible. So Lion. what have we got? We've got a tiger. Yeah. Uh, a bat. A bat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a tiger, armadillo, a tiger, a f- elephant, a mole, tiger, elephant. Let's just do this seriously and get yeah, it out of the way. Tiger, elephant, b- Kodiak bear. Yeah, we've got two more. Yeah, two more. Anything poisonous? I don't think so. Mm, nah, mate. Like you want something no, you just want absolutely destroy. What, like a gorilla or something? Don't <gasps> we want a silverback gorilla? Yeah, because that'll do a bit of damage, won't it? Yeah. Given half a chance, and maybe something cr- like another ape, like a cr- like a chimpanzee or a baboon with massive fangs, just to go crazy because they go ballistic. <laughs> Have you seen a chimpanzee? Oh, oh they're wild, yeah. But like, um, that I mean, they're that not huge, but they are. Pack, you know, they're like a small they're man syndrome. I, th- I yeah. feel they'd have that. Well, they're not even that small. They've got chimp no, strength. They're as not well. small. So they rip your knackers off and like. It's a squad. Yeah. That's a squad. They're half, packing, aren't they? And also, chimpanzee and. Probably just ride on elephant. Could we have a flying thing? Flying thing. You know, it's like not one of hard, massive eagles. Like a harpy eagle. They're massive, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just thinking it's a bit one dimensional because we're all like ground. Yeah, based. but we're just going in, aren't we? We're yeah, just going in to cause the maximum amount of danger. And yeah. you're right, a chimpanzee would go ape shit. <laughs> he would love it. I think he'd be like the berserker. Yeah, we, he'd have like a. Little I think muzzle. everyone else would just be like, look hard, and they just sent chimpanzee in. Yeah, we'll just like un- Begbie. Muzzle- yeah, he's like Begbie. Yeah, <laughs> we just unmuzzle him and like go on then, go on then, Frankie or whatever your name is. He's like, um, what was that chimp who just did that woman, like took that one's face off and that? Uh, Travis. Right, Trav, big Trav, Trav. I mean, you're naming Travis. it Travis. It's, you're you're in for trouble, aren't you? Oh, dude, we're gonna get a descendant of Travis as one of our as our children. Yeah, a bloodline, direct bloodline of Big Trav. Yeah, and Big Trav's gonna ride up back at what's he on back of summit? Well, actually, he probably could go up back at Tiger, and then um, Gorilla could go on back up. Um, oh my god! Like power it, like literally, like yeah. They just start eating, each, attacking each other. The t- attack <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd be like, get over there and get that. <laughs> God, kill that village. And then you're, <laughs> the chimp's just ripping your knob off. <laughs> eating alive by the tiger. <laughs> it's all going wrong. <laughs> Rachel Gillies, sh- friend of the show. Is she? Oh, are you saying, is she saying that? No, I'm saying that. She's all right. If there, was a, if there was a zombie apocalypse and you two kicked the absolute fuck out of every zombie you met, killed hundreds... Then they found a cure and all zombies were returned to their normal human state with no adverse effect. Would you feel guilty? Or would you sleep soundly knowing you did what you had to do at the time? 100% sleep soundly. There's no guilt there, is there? Why would there be any guilt? No, there's no guilt. And also, probably Rachel, enjoyed it. you've just said we kicked the absolute fuck out of every zombie we met, so we'll take that, won't we? Oh, mate, I'm riding on, I'm on a high. I'm on a gorilla <laughs> <laughs> I've trained a gorilla <coughs> to carry me well that's it innit because it's a zombie apocalypse we've got our five animals yeah it's just us and then five animals wading into them and also because we've had a lot of time and you know be a good zombie up, movie that wouldn't it actually yeah with animals because what we've done is we've shot so the elephant we've sharpened his tusks and yeah. put like extra like spikes on yeah. them like souped him up a bit soup of course we have put some armor on him and shit that's how we got him to loosened up mate. his bum hole so that he can put more like <laughs> baddies in it 
you know, just give him poppers. Like he's constantly got a bag of poppers strapped to his hu- to uh, <laughs> trunk. <laughs> and he just hoovers him up. Big boy. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If you just watch it, look at them go, man. We're getting swarmed. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Wow. If you're just watching on Patreon, give them a wave, mate. But we're getting absolutely midged out now. Yeah. So we must go. And uh, thanks for listening. If you're just listening, uh, check us out on whatever you want. Um, oh, they're really. I normally coming. finish it with a poem or a quote. Do you know any off by heart? I finished it with a nice Anthony Bourdain quote actually yesterday and the other day. Yeah, because um, it's been a f- is it four is years it something like midges are twats. Midges are killing us, aren't they? Yeah. Is that it. That's it. <laughs> That's all we've got, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for everything. Love you all. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Bye. I'm in Gossamer Gear, the one. Joey's in his trusty Coleman. We've got our duds drying out outside, and uh, we're having to just hit the hay a little bit early because those midges are out now. So it's just comfier and warmer and better in the tent. Morning, glampers. Oh, as soon as I've turned the camera on, the sun's come out, and that's the first time it's come out this morning, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, slept well last night. We only had one beer apiece. So, fresh as a daisy. Well, as fresh as you can be after sleeping in the tent, after walking 70 miles, whatever we did yesterday. Uh, Joe's put his tent away, but he was in the old, his trusty Coleman. You've seen it. You've seen it. Oh, you've seen it. You've seen it, he's saying. With his high gear. It's just, I'd love you to do a rundown of your kit one time. Just. <laughs> it's like budget, it's budget stuff, but it all works perfectly well. Yeah. You know? Because, see, you don't need all bells and whistles. My Gossamer Gear backpack as well, I think it's the 50 litre, I forget what it's called. But, we're going to talk about that anyway. Is it going to come with me on my next big hike? Don't know, am I going to revert back to the Osprey Exos 48? Stay tuned. I think I might. But yeah, very comfortable anyway. No condensation, because... There was a nice gentle breeze all night. We had a little bit of rain, but I quite like a little bit of rain when I'm under a fly. And we're up, man. We're up and away early. We do have some breakfast stuff, coffees and whatnot, but we're going to get a couple of miles under our belt first, find somewhere nice, and then get tucked into them and continue our hike. Just some flattened grass, as always. No trace left. Don't fancy fancy putting wet kecks back on again. What's he saying? Have a look at it. He's gonna have a look at it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Can't not go in if he goes in, can I? But I mean, it will feel. We will feel better. It's in sun. It's in sun, and it will. Um, it's just good for bones, isn't it? Good for muscles and good for noggin. Going in there for a swim. I'm thinking of jumping off here, but it's, uh, I don't know how deep it is. We'll check it out. Woo! Woo-hoo! That's fresh! That is fresh! Woo! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Beautifully fresh. Did I land it or not? Are you saying shit? Give it shit? I'll do one more. Yeah? Oh. Is it terrible? 
One more, fans, come on. Oh my god, one more. Nice. Got got you got around really well there. Woo! That'll do! <laughs> ah cold! <laughs> Wim off it! <laughs> Oh, the camera. There isn't even a camera there, guy. Don't even worry about it. So we've just brewed up posh coffee bags. Obviously, we'll take them out with us, but um, yeah, like it's like a filter coffee, but within a a sack. <laughs> It is what it's, it is what it sounds like, and uh, we're just chilling out here. It's a beautiful little spot. Oh, tin town because it was made of in wriggly tin. Dirt square, but you can see a wriggly tin. I do yeah, know. corrugated iron. You mean? <laughs> wriggly tin. That's what it's called. That's why it's called Tin Town. That's yeah. That's what they called it, wasn't it? Wriggly Tin. Don't know. School and shops. Single men's huts. That's me. This is where this is where you're gonna find There's me. Accident and general hospital. You'll find right, you'll find you in here, right? With me from there. I'll come over here, meet you in there, and then you're ending up in there. For that for for your lip. That's a bobby, isn't it? And there it is, look. Bike. Yeah. It's Bobby. No suspension whatsoever on that bike. That's cane in Bobby's gooch. All horse driven. Absolutely fantastic, actually. Because right? in this series of Joe gets into really tiny spaces and and uh, reviews them. I'm going to review this. Can it's, you? This is a, almost like you could imagine this is a purpose built. Yeah. We'll maybe wait for these people to go past so we don't look, look too wacky. So we don't look too mental, mate. But it's got a few stones under there. I feel that that's going to let it down. Yeah, I mean, can you look past it though? It's, it's pretty. Well, I'll maybe get in here, look and watch you coming through. Right, so let's see. It, is it. The question is, is it long enough? There's it's thorns. It's sturdy enough. Is it so, long enough? Yeah, as long as your head's covered. Yeah, that's it. But my feet are out. Let me go around this side, I don't know. go there. Yeah, but your feet, that's fine oh, though, isn't it? Your feet getting a little bit wet. What about an angle? Okay, he's in, angle. he's completely in. Kurt, angle it. Look at that, Tin Town. So one man, or, or, or unless you want to sleep across each other. Is it rateable? It's got subtle holes in it, you can see from underneath, but I think. What, the leak? Yeah. It'd get you out at main, it would. main trouble. I mean, it's nothing like the Tin Town of old, is it? it it's <laughs> not, it's a shadow. The it's shadow of its, uh, of its namesake. But uh, yeah, you've got all on you. Let me just de demystify you. I, uh, yeah, I rate it. He's rating it's it. Built. It's an attractive looking shelter. Yeah, it is an attractive looking shelter. It's, it's uh, educational. You don't feel as it's, it's interesting. You don't feel as snug and cosy as the as the last ones I've tried. Not as comfortable or those tight ones. They they yeah. In sconce. It's the womb. Isn't it? It's the womb. Yeah, that's too airy, isn't it? Too modern. Too modern, too airy. How many out of ten? Six. Six out of ten for Tin Town could be better. Thank you. No worries, mate. Yeah. Oh no, look at that. They've goofed. Painful to see. Painful to see. They're larch aren't they? 100% edible. 100% edible. A belite of sorts. Yeah, with one, ones like that, they're a bit slimy on yeah. the back, but So you just get rid of the gills and slice it up. It's still, yeah. still delicious. There's a young one, good. Right? Young ones are probably better anyway for eating. Gills are tight, aren't they? Yeah. Less moisture. It's a little bit slimy, but cooked off, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? We've run out of water, so we're stopping off. Filling up the uh, sea knock. This thing is amazing. Love it. Um, I'll try and leave a link below. A lot of people have tried to get hold of this, but I think since I'd used it in my Cape Raft trail, 
they've sold out a lot uh, in a lot of places but if I can find a link I will leave it downstairs and it's great because you can open up the back of it like that so you've got a big mouth just to quickly fill up when you get to places like this there's no messing which would normally with the other ones with the little nozzles on top would take maybe a bit of a fat especially if you're like filling up from a little puddle fresh filtered water Still one of your scrap stories, <laughs> still you in the Peak District. Hey, alright. There we go, say it, we just wave hello. Hey. Why not? Look at it. We are Man. supposed to we're supposed to be out in the wild and stuff, but it looks like there's cars going past, there's people giving it what for. There's a cost of coffee just there. But um yeah, what's your name? Billy. Billy and Jimmy. Jimmy and Hannah. Billy, Jimmy and Hannah. <laughs> Shout out. Good Ayrton. We're back to the car. That was a slog, wasn't it? Yeah. We must have done, I don't know. In total, we worked out about 14 miles. I've seen you doing faces there. Were you doing faces behind my back? No. <laughs> I think we were 14 miles. Yeah, maybe 24. 24 miles. We've put a shift in. That's all you need to know is we've put a shift in, haven't we? Yeah. Both days. Legs. Two days of solid yeah. hiking. Highlights. Swimming? Swimming and I really enjoyed the podcast. Yeah, it was nice. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I uh, just enjoyed the walking as well. And the walking. Hanging out, we've not seen each other for so yeah. long. It was all good, different, man. Lots of different terrain, mate. Yeah. And a different one for us. We didn't get pissed or out. No. Very sensible we were. Yeah. So, any words of wisdom? Uh, keep on hiking. Get yourself, Get yourself a bag. Comfy bag. Don't get a bag like, don't get a bag in. Don't get a bag. Bag in. No bag. No. Get, go on, get yourself a bag. And some, you know, <laughs> light, light, cheap tent. And uh, do do a, do a hike, and, hike and camp. There it is, guys. It. There it is. Get yourself a cheap tent and a bag. Yeah. And have a good time. Be careful. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye for now. Laters.